Well, uh, U.S. Steel made the official announcement at the uh, startup of a, a B blast furnace uh, at the, our steelwork side, iron making side. So it's uh, it's great news. It's been long overdue. Uh, welcome news, uh, not only for the members that uh, re I represent, their families, but this community. It's suffered long enough, and it's been long overdue. We've been. Uh, toyed a few times in the rumor mills so these guys now are kind of getting numb to some of the rumors and uh, they're trying to make sure that they're valid and there's some validity to them and uh, that they are in fact going to be looking to get a call back so these guys have been laid off over two years two years and almost three months and they haven't found work that's anywhere close to sustainable or as decent paying jobs that we offer here at the steel mill so uh, they're, they're ready to come back. The press release today by U.S. Steel says, you know, in a neighborhood approximately 500 jobs. It's what it will take to man a single furnace in a operation, our steel making process. So it should be in that neighborhood around 500 plus jobs. Uh, we're somewhere in that neighborhood of what uh, remains left available that are on layoff. We've had quite a few of our guys uh, since the uh, idle of uh, December of 2015 that have uh, either moved on or uh, have taken severance packages or have retired. Uh, so this should bring back uh, just about everybody that we have that's still uh, available on a layoff. And we may have to even reach out to the street for some hiring. So that's uh, it's very good news for this area. We have currently about 730 employees working with the uh, operation we were at now, the finishing part only. Uh, now we'll be producing our own slabs rather than relying on someone else to supply slab to us. So, uh, no, this is good news. This is this is long overdue, and this is uh, this is very good news.